Hey guys, it's the Woodsman, and we're uh, we're back for some more Dishonored 2. What I'm happy about is that the game I turned it off here, and uh, it didn't actually uh, it it didn't um back. Well, let me rephrase that. It didn't um it didn't close the game, so it's back where I left off. Okay, I'm going to quick save right here. Is this the void? Are you the cursed outsider? Death in the month of songs, because we're from a long...
Palo's there, Vice Overseer Burn is there. Damn it, if I had... <sighs> if I had four domino... I really shouldn't do this. Hey, what happened here? Hey, hey. Hello, wake up. Wake up. She's out cold. Come out, wherever you are. We're everywhere. You can't hide from us.
Oh, that feeling when... That is a good feeling when Shadow Walk doesn't take any mana. Hey, you! Come the howl you killed was a friend of mine. I didn't kill any howlers. How am I going to do this? Head overseer, howler. I 
Wait, let me read that description again from Paul. Mm. Didn't work. Didn't work. <sighs> Old Batista District. Oh, right, I didn't read it. Six, Dust District. You must travel through the Dust District to Ar Aramis Stilton's Manor. Which contains more of Delilah's secrets. So I serve here burn and his religious followers are at war with Paolo, leader of the Haller gang. Either Burn or Paolo will aid you for a favor. I don't know why it only gave me the option for assassination. It's really confusing. There we go, just had to do him and not her. Hey look, 30 coins. Nice. Stay in the neutral territory, sister. Where it's safe. to go back here last time. Detainee Durante. Detainee was a man called Durante. He admitted entering the home of Aramis Dalton on occasion, but died before revealing how he came in possession of the Jindosh lock combination. Detainee is of, is of no further use to us. His possessions have been passed on to Vice Overseer Byrne for inspection, upstairs in his office. Brother Tennis has disposed of the detainee's body. Select the things of the eh, no.
I really like Far Reach. Stilton. In discreet time finds Aramis Stilton. Aramis Stilson guy seems like the like he's one of the best guys ever. Seriously. Okay, let's see. I'd wager that's the key we need. Now what? There's a Something's off. I really like his voice. Think you're smart? I'll find you. Should do those quick saves more. Last one was here. He didn't go that way. Hi, Saren Razor. Welcome to the stream slash episode, I guess. Damn it, I need to get to that key in Bone Charm. Oh, 
Let's. I want to quick save this spot. Made it. Okay, let's see what that new bone charm is. Deep grave. Slight chance that grave hounds are destroyed upon spawning. When you take damage. I'm gonna equip that once I can. Or once I have that ability unlocked. Seems like this area isn't in use anymore. Here. What key did I get? Oh. So what's the point of doing that?
Nope, oh, looks like you're supposed to be up there. That I need. Okay, bye. This area is off limits as long as this little war goes on. I really wish I could set that. Or I can do that. to staff. Do not take any more silver graphs for, for Miss Mindy Blanchard until she pays what she owes. Do not let her pick up any of her existing portraits either. We do not offer credit even to the Hallers and, prom and promises don't pay your wages. If she threatens one of you again, let me know. I'll bring the matter to Paolo. My daddy. Silver graphs is your notebook. Look, all that matters is that every wedding subgraph delivery comes with a nice little message. I know they're totally I know they're tacky, but it's what our customers want. We're not here we're not here to be poets, stinking of wine and piss starving in the gutter outside of the crone's hand. Here are some examples, do your best. We met in the month of high cold, now we'll hold hands until we're old. Wed the month of rain, a love without refrain. Wed the month of timber Ever day, ever a day to remember. Married in the month of seeds, a sweet huckleberry for all your needs. 
Wet together in the month of cold, you can dump him when he gets old. <laughs> that is really funny. wasn't running the mines night and day, our children wouldn't be choking themselves to sleep at night on the dust. It's easy to blame the Duke, but we both depend on the profits from industry. The mines are the lifeblood of this city. No. The Duke could have continued operations like his father did. Fast enough to sustain the city without burying us all in dust. How? There are twice as many people living in Karnaka now. If the mines slowed down, half the people in my family would be out of work. Duke hosts inauguration celebration. An extravagant inauguration ceremony for Empress Delilah Caldwin took place in the Grand Palace several nights ago. As a show of support from all Serconos, guests at the event say that the festivities were not dampened by the absence of the Empress, who remained in Dunwall busy with her official duties. In her place, a larger-than-life silver statue made in her image graced the ceremony, Always lavish and full of surprises, it is no wonder Duke Abel wishes to be known as the Joyful Duke. <laughs> the Grand Palace added that to the absurd gossip regarding our ambassadors returning to Karnaka from Dunwall Tower, with odd markings on their faces, uttering gibberish as if speaking a dead language, are preposterous rumors with no base in reality. Well, joy. Is that, a, is that like a hookah? Those masks are so creepy. That waiter, they're worse than the old ones. My last quick save at. Oh, there's a blood fly nest here.
There's more than one nest keeper here. that Doctor the candidate but Mr. Acosta symptoms acute shortness of eh. this was a doctor's office, okay. Oh look, some stuff I can use. Oh, it just loops around like that. Or two clocks. Durante, it's underway. Your men will be released by the Sh Shindere Mining Company as soon as we bring them a couple of replacements. You need to drop two of the usual drunks into the crates I've been prepared. Anyone reasonably healthy will do, but go easy on the drugging. The deal is off if they arrive dead. Take this key. It opens up the back room in my silograph studio. Whoever Whoever you drop, whoever you nab, drop them into the grate and nail them shut. When you've done your part, leave the shop door unlocked on your way to out. Leave the say I won't. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha!
Watch this. What? Paolo had a mummified hand. Bone charms, uh, unfortunate crescent ship, iron roots. Knockdowns are, are much less likely to. I fell through the floor again. That was really close. Hello? Anybody? Oh, it's resounding shriek. With the corrupted or maybe not. Resounding shriek. Howler bolts are louder and have a greater radius.
Come on, man, regenerate. Time to pay off your debt to society, Paolo. Here's the payment. Madotti, here's what I've been allowed to take from the saloon emergency stash. Hold on to it until I bring you the, t you the two guys. It makes me sick to pay those bastards from the mining company, but we can't afford to let Paolo and Bill die up there. Durante. I hope five years away gives you time to think while the city rebuilds itself without your little war. Stay in the neutral territory, sister. Dark vision is useful, but it hardly does kind of shit here in the dust storms. But it, this game is so cool. I'm just nerding the fuck out. Kind of crazy.
somebody steps out of line, I'm gonna be the first to show him what's worth. This, there was this outsider shrine here. And I'll paraphrase what uh, the outsider said there. Um, so basically, uh, oops, wrong power. Um, Paolo, the leader of the Howlers, the, guy, the first guy we took, the guy we took from here. He um, he found the hand. He found the hand of a witch who the outsider used to favor. Let's we'll go all right and say it, that it was kind of Granny Rags. Actually, does it show arts you art you've picked up? Jeez, I look at a lot of stuff. Sacrifice... What am I sacrificing? Aquatic nature... So that'll be really useful to craft. Well, let's see what corruption I get this time. Spring razors have a slight chance of failing completely. I can live with that. That is a very good thing considering I'm not going lethal. Deep grave. Mm. A cult carver. Demon lock. Crafted ten bone charms. It's a diamond. Sometimes supernatural powers consume more mana. Uh, no. Okay, let's see what we get. Which is... Magic rel magically relocate more often. What? No. Look, I know it'd probably just be better to outright... Um, I know it would be better just to upgrade the bone charm crafting, but I'm lazy right now. I also don't have enough runes. And there's other stuff I need to pick up. Exploding bottles inflict damage over a smaller area. That I can live with. I'm like a fish.
you take damage, its significant portion is instead. Okay, it's from mana. Your attack damage is significantly increased when your health is low. Iron roots. Code to Stilton's house. This is from our friend the Duke. You'll need it when you you take food into Stilton's house. Leave the supplies and make sure the old man has water. And remember, no one else sees this combination. No one. Lady Winslow, war medal. Baroness Finch, diamond. Doctor Marcola, ring. Countess Conti, bird pendant. Madame No Sow, snuff tin. I'm gonna put this in my notes. For another run. Uh, write a note. Lady Winslow. War metal. Air. Finch Diamond Dr. Mark Cola Mark Cola Ring Countess Conti this Conti Bird Pendant Madame Not so Not S I O U O U Snuff ten done. <sighs> to Jindosh Lock. Bone charm I want. You'd be too cautious. Well, shops getting off. New upgrades available. Piercing insult. Bolts can pierce multiple enemies improved what? So dust, I'd be rich. Long distance <laughs> lover. When using the spyglass, the crossbow has perfect aim even when you chain shots. Improved damage. Oh, I didn't see this the other two. Oh, oh those are are those masterworks? Oh, those are the masterworks, I think. I'm gonna ask where you work for. I serve all sides. Causes witches to flee. Blind enemies causes wolfhounds to flee. Uh, uh. 
Once installed, a masterwork upgrade cannot be removed. If you install a long distance lever, you won't be able to install piercing insult later. Continue. Uh. Hold on, guys. scares off buyers. Who's worse? Overseer zealots or cutthroat howlers? <laughs> well, we could do business. You won't regret it. Long distance lover. At this rate. I mean, if I'm still here. Let's see. I have some upgrade plans for your gear. deal with strangers. Let's 
let's see. Wait, do I have a code? Pal was resurrection. Pal disappeared in the swimmer hands, blah blah blah. Exile Paolo. That looks really cool. This was once my world. All things from the northernmost shores to here, Karnaka in the south. I heard the howls of taking a robbing honest men. I never had lost his eyes. And that, that it was, was the month of darkness, darkness. And, and that, that he begged, begged for mercy, just, just like she wanted. Oh, I can't talk to the beggar. Outside yes. crooked cock. Yes, yes, yes. I missed the yes. time when I could go to sleep without one now we're getting crackers. somewhere. Mystery woman leaves conservatory. Residents living near the Royal Conservatory reported report strange tidings. Friends, report strange tidings. Friends, as regular readers know, curator Brianna Ashworth suffered shuttered the conservatory some time ago, and at, and at nearly the same time, the Duke tripled security outside. Why would a museum sit closed to save funding? I don't buy it. What costs are incurred by maintaining rooms full of old bones? Now, something strange still. No one has seen Brianna Ashworth in days, but a steady trickle of women have been seen leaving the Royal Conservatory at odd hours. Some were seen heading for the docks near the canal, assume, assumably on their way north, to Dunwall perhaps? Is there a connection between those strange women and our, and our new Empress Delilah? Are they somehow related to the missing women we've we reported over the last three years? from families complaining of wandering daughters, some of whom suffered from disillusions of the spirit, so severe as to require daily bloodletting? We will reveal more as we continue to investigate. Don't go creeping around much out for the blood flies. storms past. Don't mess with the Abbey. Stay in the neutral territory. You'll be all right here, visitor. Just keep your head down. King Sparrow blood and feathers. <clears throat> what are you covering your face for? Keep the dust out? Outsiders oh, crooked. That's what I'm Yes! Now we're Pissing getting crackers. somewhere. Familiar parts of the city are starting to feel dodgy. To me. The outside is That's can't right. remember the last time I had any meat that wasn't tinned.
Bosses beware when we're screwed, we multiply. Oh, wait. That was the tripwire. Find this code. I want to rob that black market. Okay then. Here comes another dust storm. Unless I hear you've taken down the vice overseer himself. Stay out of Howler territory. Whoever you are, I don't care. Oh, hello. At first I thought you were one of Paolo's gang. But you don't look so bad up close. 
Somehow, being so close to the Howlers has kept me safe so far. They like me because I pay up every month. All they care about is the money. Ruffian! Hey, someone, help! Huh? What's going on here? What? Someone, protect me! That, that's not right! Well, shit. Domino is so broken! Oh man. This is borderline broken if you use correctly. Hey, come, come fight face come to on, face. Let's have Air fight. Did all the howlers? What's going on here? Use hiding. Here we go. That's what I was waiting for. Hello? Anybody? Don't make me. of the howlers that were out here went into the store.
The seeds of Sirkonos. It's not feeling well. Is that like chloroform gas? <sighs> oh, that was this. Let's quick save this. Every man's face. Ooh, on the making of the mess. Cool. Heat the metal to heat the metal to pouring temperature, then speak the words of John Clavering. Behold the face of Holger, who fell in battle the day the, this day. It is the picture It is the picture of outrage at the conditions of this loathsome world. And so pour the ma so pour into the mold derived from the original drawing in black ink on calfskin parchment, the face which kept its beauty even in death. 
Pour the metal with cor with care, with full awareness of what you bring into the into these lands. If the metal splatters or if it is improperly measured, then be assured the outsider is present and all must be purified, and the process started anew. Let the masks come to a cool temperature, then remove them from the molds and speak deathly from the taint tome of objects. Holger the pure, whose face is preserved herein for us across the ages, strike fear into our enemies and dread into all sinners, so may it be. Set aside any in any in which a brother misspoke, or in which, even if se seeming on accident, a mask is dropped, or any imperfections is detected, melt these down and repurify the liquid metal. All masks must be perfect in form, imbued with the conviction of the Abbey. Holy crap. These guys really are friggin' zealots. Ze zealots, not zealots. Zealots. Book of Sermons. Nope. Contraband. I've acquired more forbidden art. When Overseer Stellas awakens from his rest, have him bring me the key. Where could that guy be resting? I wonder how the High Overseer is faring against Delilah back in Dunwall. Wait, what am I doing? <sighs> I'm a complete idiot.
Amanda Mont. Amanda Mont, artist, draws advertisements and portraits for the newspapers, lives near the dockyard, spotted him when he lost his shirt in a game of dice at the crone's hand. Seems to have interesting ink on his back. Really wanted, really wanted to check it out. Met up, definitely has some very unusual tattoos. I might have to see him again, once or twice. Take him, take time to make a good sketch. He's cute, so that part will be easy. But I need to be careful. I think we were followed. Probably one of those limp dicks on the Abbey. Shit, they got him. Whirlwind. Oh, wait, if I'm right. Sort of attack speed is slightly faster, I was right. Reminder, check out the whale. Heard one of the big whaling ships from Santiago Fishery is brought in a big fat one. Bleeding whale over the docks for a while because of an argument over port taxes. I need to go take a look at one of the one of these nights before it's really rotten. I can probably snatch a few gallons of blood and grease to refill my ink stacks. Whalebone. Father's book. Eddie Blanchard's diary. Notes on magical marks. Fourth day, month of clans. It's festering now, and the healer says I need to keep the poultice on for another day at least. He wanted to put a theme on me, but I took out my blade, and that changed his mind. But it's not at all a loss, because now I know... Oh, it ain't how deep you cut the tattoos. Deeper just makes them ooze pus. Ain't nothing magical on that. Twelfth day, month of songs. I finally came to realize that it ain't just to have a tattoo. A tattoo is nothing but a pretty picture in your skin, that's all. So I've been in studying those marks on Paolo's talisman. I don't know where he got that old dried up corpse hand, but he never t talks to me about it directly. But something goes down. He takes the bullet in, in the head, a blade in the gut, whatever. Then he's back in his little secret room, right next to his office, like nothing ever happened. Maybe someday I'll just drink a little more than usual and ask him straight up. Anyway, it's something out of this world I can tell just by looking at it. I get a funny feeling close up. Wish I could look uh, close at the marks on it. I bet that's that it's special herbs or something in the ink, or maybe not herbs, something more. May have whale's brain or crushed blood fly wings, or something brought up from the mines and crushed into powders. 25th day, month of song. Whale blood in the ink's not right. I'm feeling ter terribly off. Head pounding worse than since when I was little and that other boy hit me between the brows with a brick just before I threw him off the water tower. And the tattoo just ain't setting proper, like. New Blanchard's diary mentions that Paolo always resurrects in the same place and outside of Shrine Year's office. Oh.
ground killer is watching. has been robbing black market shops. Hope we find out who. A full day's work. How would she know what a full day's work looks like? Yes. It's a bit hot, isn't it? Now we're getting somewhere. somewhere. Someone there. Want to help us? Go put that sword in the Howler's skull. Silver teeth wanted. Do you have trouble making ends meet here in Karnaka? Did you have your bad teeth fixed with silver fillings? Despair no more. I'll buy all your silver teeth, whatever their condition, for a coin each. Come to Valley Street every first day of the month. Clean extraction tools. Bring your own whiskey if you need it. Interesting. Do I have anyone dead? What? Who died? Was it this guy? like
Just to prove that dogs don't count. They don't. Lord Corvo Tano made a royal protector in 1817, was born here on the 25th day, month of Nets, 1798. Tano's abandoned home. Twentieth day, month of wind, eighteen sixteen. I cried again this morning and can't bring myself to eat. It's not that I'm proud of my Corvo. I've always been proud of him. Always known he was special. So much quicker and stronger than the other boys. So serious. His eyes keen, even when he was barely able to walk. I nearly burst with pride sometimes. I knew when he went after the black, the blade verbena, he'd win. He'd win it. Even so young, I pre ended to worry and bring my hands and look away and catch my breath but it was it was an act I knew he'd win I just never thought he'd be sent away taken to Dunwall I should be happy about his new position bragging not crying oh my chest feels heavy just thinking of it he didn't have he didn't have a choice did he had taken him from me set him on a new road my poor boy first be it first be it just years ago my wanderer daughter, setting off for who knows where, guided only by the stars. Now my Corvo racing away into the unknown weather. Corvo must have lived here three decades ago at least. This is where Corvo was born. Now that's some really good story. That's some really good story there.
quickly spreads after Parliament fire. We received devastating news out of Dunwall, indicating the Parliament building there has been the Parliament building there has been partially destroyed by fire. The swiftly spreading blaze resisted all attempts at extinguishing, and panic ensued as smoke and flames spread to outlying neighborhoods. Many deaths and injuries have been reported, with dozens yet unaccounted for. Authorities have not ruled out arson, but the smoldering ruins are as yet unsafe and are a hindrance to investigations. Meanwhile, all Gristolian parliamentary activities have been seized, and most co commercial routes are now clo closed, making it inadvisable to travel to Dunwall at this time. This thing looks derpy as fuck. <sighs> Leave me alone, please. Silver and dust. Oh, early in the morning, for the sunrise, they got out of bed, opened their eyes. We my with dirty old trousers and browns on blacks, they pick up their tools and pick up their axe. Say way yo, the dust it blows. Say way yo, the dust it blows. They march down that road to Stilton's old mine, just like their elders when wages were fine. But Stilton's long gone, and so is his grace. Now ain't no one happy in this miserable place. Say way, yo, oh, the silver it glows. Say way, yo, oh, the silver it glows. Down underground, it's dark and it's cold. They don't get no breaks and they do as they're told. The dust crews get down on their hands and knees to do anything that angry foremen please. Say way yo, oh, the dust it blows. Say way yo, oh, the silver it glows. But the foreman he's under the Duke's treaty thumb, making the miners work till they're numb. They pull out that silver and make that man rich And coming home broken face black as pitch Say way yo, oh, the dust it blows Say way yo, oh, the silver it glows And up in that palace where the greedy duke hides There's riches and treasures and he never divides But down on Batista, a dirty wind blows. The stews are thin and there's rags for clothes. Oh, the dust district, she's a terrible place. Put a limp in your walk and a scowl on your face. When the miners come back with pittance to pay, makes you wonder why they're there and get up the next day. Say way, yo, the dust it glows. Say way, yo. The silver it glows, say way yo. The dust it blows, say way yo. The silver it glows. Hey, just a guy. I was just singing because that's actually a really cool sounding song. Unconscious. On the quick save here.
Oh. I've been streaming for like two hours and I'm trying to find a damn sa a damn code that I don't know where it is. Just do this. Makes my life easier. Oh, there's some nice pants. in there. Oh, it's a dead body. Oh, wait, I've been in here. I mean, there's the obvious try to find a way to unblock the door. But I also have a pistol. So I can do that. Yeah, no, I've just been looking around. I was told I could find it. I'll look around here, though. It's where that bone charm is there. Stilton's house needed to be shut up tight like this, but what do you think? Can you crack it? Give me a minute. Durante knows how to get in here. Paolo had him feeding old Stilton or watching him. I was gonna pay him off for the secret, but Durante got beat down by the- Jane Josh Riddle. At the dinner party where Lady Winslow, Dr. Marcola, Countess Conti, and Madame Natso, and Baroness Finch, the women sat in a row. They all wore different colors, and Lady Winslow wore a journey blue hat. Countess Conti was at the left, next to the guard, wearing a purple jacket. Lady in green sat left of someone and over it. The traveler from Fraport was dressed entirely in red. When one of the dinner guests begged about her, her snuff tin, the woman sat next to her, and they were fine in Froport where she lived. So Baroness Finch showed off a prized diamond which at which lady from Dunwall which the lady from Dunwall scoffed, saying it was no match for her war medal. Someone else carried a valuable bird pendant and when she saw it the victor the visitor from um the oak next to her ailment spilled her neighbor's ab absence. Madame Natsa will raise her rum and toast. The lady from Karnaka, full of whiskey, jumped up onto the table, falling onto the guest in the corner seat, spilling the poor woman's wine. Then Dr. Marco the do then Dr. Marcola captivated them with the story about her wild youth in Bailton. In the morning, there were four heirlooms under the table, the snuff tin, ring, the war medal, and the bird pendant. But who won't eat? I don't even understand what this is. I don't see any seams. Jimmy's sister says it's a gimmick, like he wore it a real locksmith who made it. No, this was built by Karen Jindosh. Scary smart. He's the one who made the clockwork soldiers for the Duke. So can you open it? Or maybe just solve it? 
No, I can't do either. It's a lock designed by a man who creates machines that kill people. You can keep your money, I'm not touching it. Uh, never mind. Maybe another time. Or not. Let's go. information was correct. Crontan. Draconos finest. You've ne you've never er alone you're never alone in the hand of the crone. Meeting place and purveyors of yeah. Like this is just amazing to look at. Back in the silver mines. Oh. Sad news, Agatha. You can probably guess the reason for my letter. He died last night. He seemed a little bit better and took some broth. The little Al even got him laughing a, a bit, but laughing turned to coughs. That lasted for about an hour, then it stopped real sudden, like he didn't have the strength to cough no more. Then he sort of spit up some black. And more came out of his nose. I, I tried to get him to cough it all out. I turned him on his side and slapped him on his back and boiled onions in, in, on his chest. But it it weren't no use, and he died like that, eyes bulging out and that black stuff everywhere. I'm taking the children and moving back to Redmore. We ain't ne we ain't never should have come here in the first place, Jillian. Jeez, Karnaka's really gone to shit since. L Duke Luca Bell took control. We're playing dice tonight. Are you in? You bet. Came to see the infamous Jendash lock, did you? Good luck with that. <laughs> Impossible. This door was sealed by order of the Duke. He had that cheery Jindosh build a special bomb. <sighs> Been eating dust all my life. You know, you would think that all of these people would get like, would be all like blind for the most part.
This is also a metal door. Sent letter. Sweetheart, I'm not sure when I'll be able to join you. I can't close up the shop or leave my brother alone right now. Running a black market business is every bit as tricky as I always imagined. The conflict in the district shows no signs of abating. Day and night, we hear overseer gunshots and, their, and the screaming bolts they use to get by the howlers. We stay inside, hoping for all this to end soon. Whenever I feel sad, I look at our wedding silver graph. What a special day that was. I have an anniversary surprise for you, and I'm not sure it'll, I'll be able to wait to give it to you. Stay, by my, stay safe, my dear. I love you. Martha. Wedding silver. Got, wed, wed the month of rain. A love without refrain. That was...
Well, the matter is that every wedding celebrated after deliver. Wed the month of rain, a love without refrain. That's. It's the month of rain. The month of rain is. That's the clue. Yeah, nice. Where the month of rain? See, I told you. Even the familiar parts of the city are starting to feel dodgy. That's no way. Month of rain. Oh, here it is. Four, eleven, fourteen. F here we go. Okay, month of rain. That's. Four, four, five, one. I'll. Tr it starts with four. I know that now. Three anniversary. Six
Let's look at that again. Wed the month of rain of love without refrain. Twenty two. Did I already do four two two? Got it. That took me like forever. Ground glider. Slide speed is slightly faster. Hold on, I want to... You sometimes drop grenades at your feet. Oh. Oh god, no. Definitely not. I don't want that. Well, give me a, give me either a no corruption. Well, that's very rare, honestly. Blood flies attack at a greater distance, further from their nests. Eh, I'm just testing it anyway. Holy crap.
I don't know how that guy died. I don't know how. Three hours, 34 minutes, and two seconds. Fat at home. Fan explored the dwelling where Corvo Tana grew up. Another solution. Eliminated both faction leaders in the struggle for the Dust District. Black Marston guy deduced the door or code on using the shopkeeper's wedding date. Well, guys, I'm going to end this one here. I will start another one in a couple minutes because this just one this one took way too long. Like, ugh. Well, guys, this has been fun. Those watching on YouTube, leave a like, subscribe. Or, you know, general YouTube -y stuff. So, uh, yeah. Alright then. See you later, guys. This is the Woodsman, signing off.